don't even know why I'm telling you guys this story because you're probably not gonna believe it, but it's true. Hey you guys, um, I'm actually uploading a video on schedule. <laughs> yeah, I said that I would upload on Wednesday and here it is. It's Wednesday and I'm uploading. I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, um, so, sorry, my hair's a little whack today. I haven't done it. Um, and I'm going somewhere in like, probably about 20 minutes. So, I'm gonna be late, but it's fine. So, this video is going to be about the time I had to get cosmetic surgery. And, oh god, um, I'm probably gonna get like hate for this, but I promise that the procedure was totally totally necessary. So, um, when I was 14 years old, I used to frequent, like, very heavy metal concerts. And if you guys have never been to those, um, at heavy metal concerts, um, they have, like, mosh pits and stuff. And, like, people just, like, push each other around and rough each other up, you know? And I used to do that a lot, going to these concerts, like, all the time. I was literally going to them probably every month. Like, I had a concert to go to every single month. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. And I loved going into mosh pits and everything. And one day, I'm in a mosh pit, and I remember the exact set. It was Asking Alexandria. Uh, yeah, I used to like them, okay? Um, and I think it was during the set of... A uh, candlelit dinner with Anna Morta. I'm pretty sure that that was when. So I was uh, moshing, doing my thing, you know, and this guy literally just punched me right in my nose. And immediately I felt it, and then I felt all of the blood dripping down. Like, and it happened kind of fast. Like, so I was worried. I was like, oh my god, like, is it even supposed to happen that fast? And yeah, so there were only porta potties at this concert, and of course I didn't want to leave. Like, I had saved up enough money to go, I didn't want to leave, because it was like a, it was only like a $40 concert, but like, when you don't have a job, and when you're 14, $40 is kind of a lot to spend on something like that. So, uh, and I was hell bent on staying there. So I go into the bathroom and start to like clean myself up and everything. And it was a nightmare, you guys. Like it would not stop bleeding. So I just like held the tissue up to my nose through all of the other sets and I was in so much pain. And by the time I left, it was already starting to like, I wouldn't say it was starting to bruise, but you could start to tell that under my eyes were getting a little bit baggier and it was just getting deeper and like, my nose was swollen beyond belief and I couldn't breathe out of my nose obviously and I was just like <sighs> and I had like this tissue like in my nose I was like <sighs> and like I was enjoying the concert still you know and my mom comes to pick me up because I couldn't drive at this time Katie go away please thank you anyways <laughs> She's so needy. Anyways, so... <laughs> um, my mom comes and picks me up, and she's, like, really, like, worried about me because I'm bl dripping blood, and at this point, it's all over my clothes, and I had had a, a white t-shirt on. It was in a Day to Remember t-shirt, and I don't still have the t-shirt because that's disgusting. Um, and, yeah, so... My shirt was ruined, my mom was like freaking out, she was like, oh my god! And so she takes me to the ER, and they're like, you broke your nose, um, and the blood is coagulated, so that probably means like, you waited a while before you came, didn't you? And I was like, uh, yeah, I was at a concert, and they were like, you probably should have come immediately, you know? And so, pretty much all they could do was they stuck a nose cast, and if you guys have never seen a nose cast, it's two bars and then like a little septum area where it sits on your septum, and they shoved it up there <laughs> to straighten out the bone, because the bone, when they took x-rays, was this way. So that meant that the guy like hit me like sideways, um, and like upward, so yeah. Anyways, so 
my nose was like this way and when they put the splint in it would it went like this and like straightened it and oh my god that was literally the worst pain I've ever felt in my life like I'm not even exaggerating and I have like a pretty decent tattoo right here and that did not hurt near as bad as this did that hurts so bad and I will never ever do it again if I have a broken nose please kill me because that hurts so bad like I started bawling and it wasn't voluntary like crying it was like involuntary because like whenever you have stuff down to your nose like you know how your eyes tear up mine were tearing up that much because it hurt that bad it was awful so anyways I have the splint in there for a little while and it's coming clear to the doctors that my nose is not going to heal correctly on its own so finally the bone heals and it's like facing this way even after having the splint um, and like what happens is blood clots over the bones and then a process happens and it reforms the bone so the bone was officially reformed in a really crooked fashion and my nose just I wish I had pictures because I pretty much deleted um, all of my pictures and I didn't like taking pictures of it because it made me look disgusting like my nose was fucking weird sorry sorry for the language my nose was weird and so it was just yeah like they were like we're gonna have to do cosmetic surgery and I was like um you mean I'm getting a nose job at 14 are you kidding me so yeah long story short I got a no nose job at 14 and what they did is they went in they sawed the bone um, and then they filed it and they put the bones back into their well not original but like they put it into a normal position and they put a couple pins in it um, those were eventually taken out by the way they just did that to ensure that it would when the bone reformed it would form straight and here's my nose um you can see that it, it looks like I've gotten cosmetic surgery on it because I did um and it wasn't because I wanted to or anything and um I could have left it the way that it was but I had a deviate like it was deviated so I probably would have gotten like a deviated septum and I wouldn't have been able to breathe kind of like now but that's because I'm sick but yeah so my nose still doesn't feel very good when you touch it um when you like pinch it um I'm not pinching it right now by the way I'm just like going like that doing the motion everyone's like well don't pinch it if it hurts well I'm not pinching it anyways so yeah um I had to get cosmetic surgery at 14 years old and I don't even know if you would call that cosmetic surgery um that's what my doctors called it because they were like You're, we're literally giving you like a nose job we're doing what we would do for patients who come in for a nose job like we're filing it down and reshaping it for you so yeah um and I had to go back and do a follow-up appointment oh let me tell you this whole process I had like black under eyes well not black they were like purple under eyes and my whole nose was just black and blue it was disgusting and it was like that for <laughs> pretty much the entire like time because if my nose wasn't broken it was in a splint and if it wasn't in a splint it was in whatever it was doing its own thing and it healed up for a little bit like I didn't have the purple for a little bit but right after I got my cosmetic surgery it came back because and they said that that would happen because like the capillaries or whatever I don't know I'm not like I'm not that into doctor stuff but um yeah so cosmetic surgery <laughs> 10 out of 10 I don't know I would kind of recommend like it wasn't a bad it wasn't a bad experience like the breaking of the nose and the splint and the healing was a bad process I would never go through that again please kill me um, but like the actual nose job like it was fine like um, it took forever to heal though like noses I don't know I've never really gotten surgery anywhere else besides my knee um, and my like ankle but that took really long but this took like six months uh, to fully heal and get to the point where I can like breathe correctly and just be able to touch it and everything and that was that was stupid but you know you gotta do what you gotta do and my nose looks pretty good I, I would say like it looks like a nose that I got from having nose surgery so 
Yeah. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that this story was like fun and insightful and teaches you not to go into a mosh pit and get hit in the face and your nose broken. Yeah. Uh, my nose job wasn't all it was cracked up to be. <laughs> all right. Love you guys. Thank you so much.